Mycology is only a 70-year-old science. Um, very few universities have a mycology department. Um, and so it's a, it's a neglected mega science, as, as Peter McCoy likes to call it. Um, and it's also fundamental to everything we are. We are fungi, the plants, the animals, everything is really either participating or is fungi. And once we get that mycological understanding, it actually like reinforces permaculture because permaculture is really about the linkages between the sciences, between the patterns and the cycles that we find here on Earth. And almost invariably, when you look at those linkages, those spaces in between the sciences, in between the cycles of the Earth and the patterns of the Earth, there you find fungi. We find it in our religions, we find it in our philosophy, even though like we didn't have mycology as a science or a, a school of thought, um, bread, wine, sacraments, you know, uh, you know, manna of the desert, you know what I mean? Like that would be a fungi, um, you know what I mean? We have all these things that are deeply rooted in our, our cultures, our beliefs, and, and even our religion. And it's like understanding these, these fungal pathologies, these, these fungal stories, it, it's, it, it, it's like a missing part of humanity. It's like, oh, that part of that story, that's fungal. Oh, that linkage, that science, that miracle is fungal. And you start seeing all these different things and then you start partnering with fungi and then you start seeing, oh, holy cow, there's parts of secession that are like altruistic and you're, you're having this secessional understanding. You're having things defy the way we define the hierarchy of nature. And once you start participating in all that, it really like fractures this dogmatic sense of the world and it opens you up to so much more expression and that's why people who get into mycology and permaculture are suddenly thinking entrepreneurially they're suddenly thinking innovatively about the world around them they're challenging the status quo in a way that's not unhelpful yeah not combative it's not like you're wrong and it's like hey let's do this amazing thing and it's gonna make the world better, it's gonna make jobs and for the youth are gonna be involved and, and it's meaning and purpose and richness all built in. And it's like those kind of things are what we all want, what we all wanna participate in. And it's festivals like this that gather people together, give them windows into lives and lifestyles where they're actually making this happen. I was a high school teacher, so that's, I mean, I'm just doing what I was doing then. <laughs> trying to get out of the way of, of what potential there is in the kids and um, really in our communities. So I feel like this is what this is. This is an inoculation and uh, also like a fomentation, you know, of great things. Thank you. <laughs>